Miss Deville? Ah. The delivery is all set. Ah, I can't wait to see Duchess and Princess in my new design. Duchess? Princess? So, Anita's secretly designing for royal clients. I bet she's planning to start her own company and run me out of business. Scenes from cartoon shows. But I, 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 I've got work to do. Ooh. Come on now. <laughs> Let's <laughs> get beautiful. Oh, it just needs a deeper neckline or something. Nanny, there's someone at the door. Nanny? Where is she? <laughs> 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 What is that? I mean, who is that? Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Pro uh, Granny. I'm your new housekeeper. Housekeeper? Uh, where's Nanny? Oh, oh, look, she left a note behind. <laughs> Dear Anita, I've been called away. My old friend Granny will cover for me while I'm gone. That's very strange. It's not like Nanny to suddenly take off without a word. <laughs> she smells awfully familiar. It's kind of like a cross between old de cologne and old gym socks. It's sweet of you to fill in for Nanny. I guess you can start with the vacuuming. If you need me, I'll be upstairs in my sewing room. <laughs> I thought she'd never leave. <sighs> I can hardly breathe in this mask. <laughs> Knew she smelled familiar. <gasps> yes, these must be Anita's royal designs. <gasps> oh, good, you found my portfolio. The vacuum's in the closet. She's got to be up to no good. We have to expose her for the phony she is. Corella's also the reason Nanny disappeared. I just hope Nanny's okay. Oh, my goodness. That's pretty. Now do the other one in here. <laughs> mm. How does one work this carpet sucky thing? Hello? Hello? Clean the room. I can tell this house is in no danger of being cleaned. Maybe she just needs a little help. Uh -uh. Ah, stupid thing. Ooh, 
That's when I'll be doing a fitting with Duchess and Princess. I'll be so thrilled. So, Duchess and Princess will be here at one. Well, it's time they met a real designer. Hello? Oh, yes, Cruella. Lunch? Today? Uh, sure, you're always welcome. See you at one. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> Once they've met the one and only Cruella, Anita's royal clients will be mine. Now to rush home and put on something befitting the occasion. Oh, Granny, there you are. My boss is coming over and I need you to make us some lunch. Oh, uh, but, but, but Mrs. Dearly, I, uh, I have to run out and buy some, uh, clothes for the, um, clothes line. Oh, please, Granny, my boss is very picky. This is a job for a professional like yourself. Uh, but, uh... Cruella will be here any minute. Hello, Deli DeVille. I want some food delivered to Daily Farm. Oh, man! She's a murdering witch! <laughs> She's as smart as she can! Enough games. Let's cut right to the chase. <laughs> <laughs> away from me! Cruella? <laughs> Anita! Rub down! I, uh, I thought I'd drop by early. Oh, well, great. Now that you're here, let's eat lunch. Cranny will serve us. Cranny! Uh, gotta go wash up! Is it my imagination, or is that woman wearing our drapes? <laughs> oh, don't even think about it! Somebody get that mask! <laughs> Let's go, you smelly flea bag! Attitude. When's Nanny coming home? Now's our chance to expose her. Normally, I'm against unprovoked violence, but in this case, treasure! Cruella, <laughs> 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 uh, you're cranny? Why the disguise? <laughs> Never mind that. Why are you keeping this duchess and princess all to yourself? How could you? After all I've done for you. Duchess? Princess? You mean you want to meet them? They're right outside in the barn. The one place I'd never look. Oh, you are a sly minx. Here they are. Duchess and princess. Your highnesses. It is such an honor to meet you. Mm. I don't recognize that accent. <clears throat> you must be... Cows! And these covers are going to keep them all snuggly warm this winter. Right, girls? These are for a couple of smelly old cows? Mm. Uh, oh, 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 oh. 
I've never been so humiliated in all my life. I'm calling my lawyer. What just happened here? Well, as near as I can tell, Cruella just wanted to meet our cows. I will never figure that woman out. <laughs> Okay, guys, get ready for the mama of all belly flops. Go for that buddy! You call that a high dive? My grandmother jumps off sofas taller than that. <laughs> <laughs> Would your grandmother jump off of this? Why stop there? Why not run up the fence branch? <laughs> I was kidding! What's the matter? You chicken? Actually, it's more from the epiglottis. Like this. Come on, are you a canine or a capon? Blackie, let me see. How can I put this delicately? Have you been born, Wacky? Uh, don't sweat it, sis. Piece of cake. <laughs> I told ya, pizza cook. Pizza cook? What kind of cake is that? There you go, Lucky. Just some minor lacerations. You're gonna be just fine. Give it a week and you'll be as good as new. She says you'll be good as new! And to make sure you don't pull those stitches out, I'm fitting you with a nice new cone. <gasps> the seagull most embarrassing, humiliating, and totally uncool thing ever invented by veterinary medicine. Come on, it can't be that bad. Okay, time to rejoin the gang. Look, I know you're a bit skittish, but after an accident, the best thing to do is get right back out there. <sighs> Poor little guy. He looks silly in that thing. At least he doesn't know it. That's the way people should be. We're all so obsessed with appearances when it's really what's inside that counts. I mean, who cares what you look like? I'm bald! Okay, here he comes. Now remember, no matter how bad it looks, pretend you don't notice it. Hey, look! How's it going? Looking good! Yeah, I didn't even notice your giant nerdy plastic code. Ow! What? What? Okay, I know I look like a dork. You guys don't have to cover. Who's covering? We're not covering. What's up with home dog? Must have lost a bet. <laughs> Pay no attention. You know, mad cow disease. <laughs> you better take it slow, boy. You don't want to bust your lampshade. <laughs> He's not laughing at you. He's laughing with you. <laughs> uh, uh. Hey, look. We got us a snow cone, boy. Let me guess. Loser flavor? <laughs> okay, so I've got a bald spot. Who cares? Beauty is only skin deep. It's what's inside that counts. Roger, lunch is ready. Uh, uh, yeah, coming. As soon as I hide my hideous naked skull. <laughs> this should do the trick. Uh -huh. Perfect. All right, remember, style is 99% and 1% revolving credit. So, let's see you sell it, Bubby! Hey, Fountain Face! I've been looking for a new bird bath! Ha, 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 ha,
Conehead. What's your next impersonation? A speed bump? Goodbye, Glare. Hello, hair. <laughs> satellite dish. We're trying to get the game from Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Barrel Butt. Meet me down to Hiccup Hole in ten minutes. We've got a score to settle. <laughs> Your stitches are almost healed. Well, what about what the doctor said? Won't you carry your stitches? Just pull. <laughs> At last, freedom. Now I can challenge Mooch on equal footing. And how is your head supposed to heal? Magic? This has got to fit. It's from my old Junior Houdini Hocus Pocus kit. <laughs> Roger, we're waiting. Oh, what am I gonna do? the top. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, here's the deal. A double jump. Whoever makes the bigger splash wins. What about your stitches, Luckless? You just let me worry about that. <laughs> me? But is there any chance that I can make a totally clean for sanity? <laughs> I didn't think so. What on earth was that? Anybody remember Dr. Winnaker's number? No dice. She would have a button. Keep it in there for hours. Just remember, when he comes out, act completely natural. isn't the worst thing that can happen to you. <laughs> Dr. Winokur, we're so glad you could stay for this spot. Joe? Darling, what are you doing? Well, um, I seem to have this... Bald spot? You know? I've always known, but it's never made a difference to me. After all, beauty is only skin deep. It's what's inside that counts. Whatever you do, don't mention the love handles. <laughs> 